This is another day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. You are welcome to the 44th day of the 50 days fasting and prayers of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. My name is Olumide Odesonya, and I want to thank you for always joining me on this platform to pray these prayers every single day. Someone said, if there is a man to pray, there is a God to answer. He that said we should ask till our joy is full. He that said we should pray without ceasing. And he says, when we ask, we will receive. He will attend to us again today in the name of Jesus. And every prayer point we had praised and raised on this platform for ourselves, our family members, for the work of our hands, for our churches, for our nations, from the beginning of this fasting and prayer up until now. The Almighty God will turn them to testimonies and right before our very eyes we begin to see the reward in the name of Jesus. You are welcome once again to the 44th day of this fasting and prayers. And our prayer focus today is for global insurgencies, prayer against global insurgencies. You are welcome. My name is Olumidi Odesonya. If this is your first time on this platform, please like this video, subscribe to this channel and share with your friends. God bless you in the name of of Jesus. So our prayer point today is centered around global insurgencies and our text will be taken from Psalm chapter 91 verse 1 till the end. Shall we pray? King of glory, God of the old universe, we thank you. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for the newness of your mercy on this new day. Be glorified in Jesus' name. We thank you for what you have done for us in the past. Thank you for the prayers you have answered in the past. We thank you for that which you will do again by answering our prayers today in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask as we pray today, please let the spirit of intercession possess us afresh, even as we intercede for the world in the name of Jesus. Father, arise in your mercy and defend the saint, defend the vulnerable, defend the helpless and hopeless in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Holy Spirit, have your way in Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Amen. So the focus of our prayer today is around global insurgencies. Our text is taken from Psalm chapter 91, 1 to the end. And the word of the Lord says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror that for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flyeth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their wings, in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shall thou trample on the feet because he had set his love upon me therefore will i deliver him i will set him on high because he had known my name he shall call upon me and i will answer him i will show him great i will show him answer him i will be with him in trouble i will deliver him and honor him with long life will i satisfy him and show him my salvation hallelujah glory be to god in the highest this is god's express promise 
to you, to your loved ones, and to everyone that you care about, and especially to the people we will be interceding for today all over the world. God is saying when we call upon him in the time of trouble, he will answer us, he will deliver us, he will satisfy us with long life. In the name of Jesus, as we intercede against insurgencies in our nations, we ask that the Almighty God will arise in his power. In the name of Jesus. We need to know, according to the introduction of this prayer, that insurgencies are just beyond political and religious atrocities or events committed by a few, by terrorists or by some wicked group of people. It is actually the Satan's agenda to keep people in sin and to send them to hell. By the time several people whose lives have not been turned over to Christ are killed, they're on their way to hell. So we need to pray that God will stay the hand of insurgencies in our nation, that terrorism will become a thing of the past, that God in his mighty power, because of his love for souls not wanting any to perish, that he will arise in his mercy and he will fight against terrorism in our nation and against insurgency all over our lands in the name of Jesus. So our first prayer point says we should bless the Lord, that everything within us should bless his holy name. Blessed be your name, blessed be your name, blessed be your name, O Lord, we bless your holy name. Blessed be your name, Jesus, blessed be your name, ah, blessed be your name, O Lord. Father, we bless you for who you are. We bless you for the power that is in your name, for the power that is in your word, for the power that is in your blood that will work for us today. Blessed be your holy name for all you've done for us in the past and all that you are willing to do even as we call upon you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank God for a new day and for the salvation of your soul. Lord, we thank you for this new day, this 44th day of this fasting and prayers. Thank you for this day of the Lord, for this day of worshiping you, of sharing fellowship together in your household. Thank you for this day of service unto you, our maker, our God. Thank you, Lord, for for lifting us. Thank you, Lord, for blessing us with the gift of today. Lord, we thank you for the salvation of our souls to know you as our God, our Lord, our Redeemer, our Savior. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Let us bless the name of the Lord. Truly, it has been the Lord's mercy that we were not consumed because his compassion has not failed upon us. Lord, we thank you. It is of your mercy that we have not been consumed. Lord, our souls bless you at all times and your praises will continually be in our mouth. Lord, we thank you for preserving our souls. Times that we escaped death, times that we escaped from the hands of the enemy. Lord, we say thank you. Times that we escaped destruction, either by armed robbery, either by terrorism, by one negative evil act of the enemies or the other world. Lord, we thank you for delivering our souls. Thank you for keeping our lives. In your mercy, we have not been consumed for your unfailing compassion over us and our loved ones. Lord, accept our thanks, O God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let us thank God for his spirit that watches over the whole earth. Thank you, Jesus, for your spirit that watches over the whole earth. Like it happened in the book of Genesis chapter 1 when your spirit overheard over the darkness upon the face of the earth. Lord, obviously, according to Isaiah chapter 60, there is gross darkness upon the earth. And we are also aware that your spirit in this end time is also hovering over the earth. You said you will pour out your spirit upon all flesh at the end of times. And Lord, these are the end of times. We thank you because your spirit is at work. We thank you because your spirit is present like never before upon the face of the earth upon the darkness of the earth we thank you because your spirit is brooding to cause the power of your word to manifest thank you lord for your spirit brooding over our own lives and families over the work of our hands that darkness will not linger longer that darkness will not have its way any longer in the name of the lord jesus over our lives over the church and over our nations thank you father in jesus name we pray Amen. 
Let us thank God for manifesting or maintaining peace in most parts of the world. Lord, we thank you, God of peace. Lord, we enter into your gate with thanksgiving. We enter into your court with praise. Despite all the atrocities, all the insurgencies and terrorism that we see around us all in the world, Father, we still have the privilege to say thank you for your mindfulness of the earth. Thank you for sending rain in due season. Thank you, Lord, for causing our lands to yield their, their yields and their produce, for supplying food to the earth. Thank you, Lord, for not allowing the earth to revolt against the occupants of the earth. Thank you, Lord, for still having charge and control over the universe. Blessed be your holy name. Thank you for the sun shining. Thank you, Lord, for the rain falling. Thank you, Lord, for the weather. Thank you, Lord, for the wind blowing. Thank you, Lord, for the night falling. Thank you for everything working as you have orchestrated by the power of your word upon the earth. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. Father, expose and frustrate all the powers sponsoring insurgencies in anywhere in the world in the name of Jesus. All the powers sponsoring insurgencies, all the group sponsoring insurgencies father arise exposed and scatter them in the name of jesus people that are producing weapons arms and ammunition and by so doing raising nations to fight against themselves raising terrorist groups to destroy lives to kill people using these weapons and ammunition father we command the closure of their businesses we command the closure of their businesses in the name of jesus that every group that is sponsoring insurgencies every businessman that is feeding on insurgencies making people to be displaced making chaoses troubles to rise between nations between people groups so that they will feed on this disunity lord we pray for such groups for such business people for, for such business organizations to be closed down in the name of jesus every authority in the world sponsoring insurgency we declare an end has come to your oppression in the name of jesus lord arise on behalf of the world using nigeria as a point of contact from the northeast down to the core east to the north not central to the west to the south everywhere insurgency is is having way is having its way lord we ask oh god you will arise and fight against the group behind it in the name of jesus and let peace reign in jesus name we pray amen Lord, encamp around your people and the innocent ones against insurgent groups all over our nations in the name of Jesus. Lord, arise in your mercy according to your word in Psalm chapter 125 verse 2, that as mountains surround Jerusalem, so Lord, you will surround your people, surround your ch churches, surround your children all over the world. Lord, where they call upon your name in spirit and in truth, all our churches, it doesn't matter the denomination, as long as they call upon your name in spirit and in truth, Father, please, in your mercy, surround them as mountains surround Jerusalem. Please, Lord, shield them with your power, shield them with your blood in the name of Jesus, with your angels, with sword of fire around them in their hands. Lord, shield your children using the redeemed Christian church of God as a point of contact to all other churches. Father, please protect your churches, protect your churches from the invasion of terrorist groups and insurgencies. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. So we, we counter the spirit of insurgency in all nations in the name of Jesus. O Lord of hosts, we call upon you in your power. Arise, O God, and counter the spirit of insurgencies. As we pray, Lord, please let them hear a noise loud and clear. Lord, coming against them to fight against them, to confuse their language, Lord, to... to turn them out of their hiding places in the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask, oh God, that every insurgent group, you will rise against them in the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, counter the spirit of insurgency by your power in the name of Jesus. Lord, let them see your mighty hand. Lord, let strangers manifesting through terrorism through insurgent groups hear our voices now as we pray all over the world during this fasting and prayer and let an end come to the oppression let them be driven out 
of their hiding places. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Jesus, you are the Prince of Peace. Let your peace flow like a mighty river in all nations of the world in the name of Jesus. Lord, you are the Prince of Peace who came to this world of sorrow, this world of pain, this world of trouble. Father, please let the impact of your peace be felt. Oh God, once more in our nations, in the name of Jesus, we use Nigeria as a point of contact because the government shall be upon your shoulders according to Isaiah chapter 9, 6 to 7. Lord, of the increase of your peace and of, of your government, there shall be no end. Lord, let your peace reign, let it flow like a mighty river from Nigeria to all other nations of the world, we will begin to enjoy the peace of the Lord that passes our understanding. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Amen. You will say, Father, terminate the wickedness of insurgent groups in all nations in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask that you will terminate the wickedness of insurgent groups in all our nations using Nigeria as a point of contact. Lord, the wickedness of the insurgent groups manifesting as terrorists, as headsmen, kidnappers. Lord, we ask as militia, as whatever wicked terrorist group, Lord, arise, O God, and fight against the spirit behind these insurgencies in the name of Jesus. Father, the wickedness of the wicked will swallow the wicked, will destroy the wicked. In the name of Jesus, let there be an end to insurgencies and terrorism in our nation, Nigeria, and other nations of the world. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Prayer point number 11. You will say, Father, have mercy on as many as will repent and save them in the name of Jesus from eternal damnation. Lord, please have mercy on as many that are willing to repent, many that have been coerced forcefully into these terrorist insurgent groups. Lord, have mercy upon them as many that are willing to repent to stop doing this. Lord, appear to them and show them mercy. The same way you revealed yourself unto Apostle Paul, who from Saul became Paul, Lord, reveal yourself one more time to those who are willing to repent of their act of insurgency and terrorism, and Lord, deliver them from damnation and eternal condemnation, and let them receive salvation. Arise, Holy Spirit, and minister to the, the in, insurgent groups and terrorist groups lord jesus because you do not want any to perish be merciful unto them O god in jesus mighty name we pray amen say father lord let the spirit of confusion destroy the unity among them in the name of jesus lord the same way you arose in the days of the tower of babel in genesis chapter 11 Lord, arise one more time that every insurgent group, every terrorist group, every kidnapping group, Lord, that had risen against the peace, against the joy, against the prosperity and unity of this nation, Nigeria, and other nations of the world, Father, arise against them and confuse their language. Turn their weapons against them. Let what had been working for them in time pass begin to work against them. In the name of Jesus, Father, let the air they breathe in fight against them. The water they drink, the food they eat, let them fight against them. The cloth they put on their body, let it become fire in their bodies. In the name of Jesus, confuse their language. Scatter them asunder. Lord, that peace may reign in our nation. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. I pray for you also, everyone ganging up against you, against your family, against your loved ones, against your progress, against your peace, against your prosperity, against your greatness, against your promotion. Everyone incited by the enemy, raised by the devil to monitor the good things God has done or is doing in your life and to bring you down. God will confuse them. God will keep them in thick darkness. Over your life, they will not have a way say. They will not have way forward. They will be confused permanently. In the name of Jesus, you will escape. You will keep rising high. You will keep making progress in all areas of your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You will say, Father, relegate anyone using public office for evil in the name of jesus father arise in your power it is time lord anyone using their 
public office, privilege public office to cause evil in our land. Lord, relegate them, uproot them. The same way you demoted Haman and he was hung. He took the place of Mordecai and the children of Israel. Lord, the same way everyone used by the devil because he occupied superior position to oppress the people, to bring the people down, to destroy lives at will. People who have no value for human lives because they are in positions of authority. Father, we command their removal. Father, we command their demotion. In the mighty name of Jesus, let the appointment be suddenly terminated and let them be rendered eternally redundant and useless. In the name of Jesus, incapacitate them and make them powerless. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. Father, rescue our youth from this deadly mission of insurgency and terrorism in the name of Jesus. Father, please deliver our youth from social vices, from being used as political thugs, from being recruited into insurgent groups and terrorist groups. Lord, please have mercy on our young ones. Deliver them. Let the veil be taken off their eyes. Let the scale fall off their eyes. Lord, let them see that there is a better future for them in doing what is right, in obeying the laws of the land and ultimately in yielding to you as their Lord and Savior. Father, arise on behalf of the youth of this nation. Deliver them by your power. Set them free, O God. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Father, let there be supernatural restoration of all insurgent groups in the name of Jesus, of all that the insurgent groups have destroyed. Lord, let there be supernatural restorations. Lord, raise help for the needy, those who have been internally displaced, those who have been rendered homeless, those who have been rendered orphans, widows and widowers. Lord, please raise help for them. Reverse the time for them. Lord, please be merciful unto them, raise help for them, and let the pains of their past sorrows be forgotten. Lord, please comfort them, console them, meet their needs. Father, please improve, increase their standard of life. Lord, make life worth living for them. We plead in your mercy, O God, for everyone that has been affected by insurgency. That have been whose loved one had been killed or whose property had been destroyed. Lord, please show them mercy. Let them see light again at the end of the tunnel. Let hope rise again in them. In the name of Jesus, we are prayed. Amen. I pray for you that everything you have lost, God will restore to you tenfold. As you pray this prayer for people that have been struck by insurgency, by the wicked one of terrorism, we pray, Lord, as God answers these prayers, it will also answer over your life that every good thing you've lost in the past, God will restore them to you abundantly in the name of Jesus. Amen. Then you say, Father, finally, let there be no insurgent attacks in our land this year in the name of Jesus. Lord, arise. O oh Lord, let your enemies be scattered. Arise, O oh Lord, let your enemies be scattered. Arise, O oh Lord, let your enemies be scattered. O oh Lord, arise, arise. Father, stop the news of insurgency and killing and wasting of lives. Lord, please stop it. Lord, in this year, we ask, O oh God, that the news of insurgency would disappear from our media because it will no longer happen again. In the name of Jesus, the destruction of lives and property. Father, you will arrest it. You will stop it as you will be visiting the insurgent groups and terrorist groups with your judgment, with your power. Lord, as the Lord of hosts who has a final say, Lord, we pray that the wind and the evil tide of insurgency in our nation will cease and stop in the name of Jesus. There shall be peace all over the land in this year. In the name of Jesus, peace in your life, peace on your path, peace in the work of your hands, peace in all areas of your life. In the name of Jesus, so shall it be. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. May the Lord answer all our prayers as he has given us the grace to pray and intercede for our nation, Nigeria, and other nations of the world against insurgency and terrorist groups. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. May you enjoy the peace of the Lord. May you enjoy the blessings and prosperity of the Lord. All the good things in your life that God has done for you, they will be permanent with you and with your loved ones in the name of the Lord Jesus. 
Thank you for being a part of this prayer broadcast today. My name is Olumidi Odesonya. Please like this video and share with your friends. If Jesus tarries, we'll be here again together tomorrow to pray prayers. Bless you.